In this video, I am going to create an artwork using only my custom brushes. Over the years, I have created hundreds of brush effects out of my images, but I have never attempted to create an artwork using only the brushes. So without further ado, let's jump into Photoshop. So here we are in Photoshop. Let's start by creating a layer and create a background for us. I'm going to use my custom brushes and you can find the link to these brushes down in the description if you want to get them yourself. So let's choose a darkish blue color. I think I'm going to go for like a mountain type of view. So let's create something quite dark, something like this, and we're going to use the brush of course to fill all of this in because that's the whole challenge then we're gonna create a new layer and i'm gonna add some what are we gonna add first I think we can also add some stars so maybe we come here to my milky way brushes select the star brush and just brush in some stars here about halfway through something like that and then if i zoom in you can see that these need to be blurred a little bit so let's add a little bit of blur from here and i think just a few pixels is enough for the blur that's it and now our stars look a little bit more realistic i also want to add maybe cloud so let's come here to the original cloud brushes and which one are we going to use maybe this one or this one and then we're going to choose a color let's make it a little bit darker and then brush the clouds in and now that we have some stars and clouds here we can maybe add another effect maybe we add northern light so let's come to the northern light brush pack and try a few different ones i think this one could look pretty cool yeah that's definitely quite cool but maybe we try this one if it's really well but let's try still a few more maybe this one we can try here i actually like that that looks extremely realistic so let's use that one so now we have a sky made out of only using brushes which is pretty cool we can then maybe create a little mountain and i think we can just brush that mountain in so let's create that with my refining brushes so if i come here and select for example this one I think we can create some pretty cool mountains and the color of the mountain has to be darker than the clouds. So let's make it a tiny bit darker. And then I'm going to start brushing here a very general shape of a mountain. This is going to be extremely simple. So now we have our mountain layer here. Let's make sure that the horizon line is straight. And then we can maybe add another mountain behind there. So let's add a new layer behind here. And then we brush another mountain. But this color has to be slightly brighter. And then for this one, I don't want it to be like really mountainous. So we just like create some base mountain shape like this. I think that's more than enough. Then let's straighten that horizon once again. And now we can start maybe brushing in some, I think trees would fit well to hide this effect since we can't use images we have to get creative so let's brush in some trees so i can come here to my tree brushes and maybe this one will work well and then let's just paint this whole thing full of trees you can make different sizes make them appear from different spots and maybe make them smaller towards this side i think that looks pretty good and then let's make sure to straighten also this line here let's create the same line as on the horizon just like that and then we maybe brush some other trees here too so let's create a new layer same brush just maybe slightly brighter colors and then we just brush in some trees further away there like this just like this this is really quick i love this brush this is also really good for refining and i often use this brush for that too so let's just brush this whole horizon line full. And then again, let's trade in the horizon. Let's make sure we select the horizon line from here. And I am going to delete that edge. So now we have our sky, we have our mountains and a bit of trees. I think the next thing we can do is add some fog behind all of this. So let's add first fog behind the tree layer. So behind this layer here, let's just grab a fog brush from here. For example, this one, and then we will just pick a color maybe from here, brighten it up a bit, and then we can brush some fog. And this just separates the trees now from the background itself. So they stand out just a tiny bit more. Something like this. And I think we can also add a fog layer above here and then just brush some fog into the trees like this. And now we can brush some fog behind here too. So I'm just going to quickly brush some fog behind all of this like so. That looks more than fine. And maybe the fog here on the left is a bit too strong. So what we can do is just take that effect off a tiny bit. And then we can flip this and maybe create a reflection out of it to just create something on the bottom because otherwise we will need to paint all of this in and if we're going to only use the custom brushes i have available i think it's better to just flip all of this but before we flip all of this into a reflection i need to quickly clean up my project and now that i have named all of my layers and also organized them let's quickly flip all of this 
So let's flip all of this around just like that and then i'm gonna bring it to the point where it's gonna match like so and we need to of course bring this one above so let's bring this up and make sure it's connecting here so now we have a pretty cool base for our artwork but it is missing a lot of fog and a lot of light to blend some of these elements so let's add all of that now so i'm gonna create a new layer on top of everything here and i am going to just brush some more fog maybe with this brush so what we will do is just create a brush effect only on the reflection and on the horizon line of the reflection so we'll just sample colors and maybe blend this a little better in just like this and once we have this effect ready then we will add another layer on top let's sample a color from here and then we will maybe start brushing that in here let's just brush a lot of fog overall on the horizon just add a little bit of atmosphere to the whole artwork and maybe a little bit brighter and a new layer something like this and then let's take the opacity down a lot because we don't want this effect to be so so overwhelming so something like that looks good to me then let's add a little bit of brightness and contrast to this so i'll do that usually with curves i just bring this up a tiny bit and then down so i can see a little bit better what's happening in the artwork that looks pretty good to me let's check the before and after that adds a little bit of punch to the image i also want to of course blur our water here and maybe add a person standing and i also have these brushes called silhouette brushes if i come here to the silhouette brushes i can add a person standing so let's maybe pick this one and then let's make sure that the color is quite dark not 100 black because 100 black would look too dark so let's just create a guy maybe standing somewhere around here and let's flip it so it's looking at the northern lights and then we can duplicate this and then flip it and make a reflection out of it like so and put it under of course and now we have a guy standing there and then we can combine the reflection and blur it a little bit then we will come up to filter blur calorie and path blur and we will add a little bit of blur here but not of course as much as there is now so let's just make sure we bring a little bit of taper which just makes the reflection look a little bit more realistic so i'm gonna add a bit of taper make the speed very small so it's not so strong something like that is okay and then we will hit okay and now we have a little bit of motion blur on the reflection it makes it look a little bit more realistic and i think now we can maybe brush a little bit of fog just there to blend it so let's add a new layer and come to the brush tool and then just with the fog brush we will brush a little bit of fog here to hide that horizon line better and then we're gonna take the opacity off and then let's maybe brush a little bit of light to the center so let's create a layer under our guy let's set the layer to overlay and then here i will just brush something like this this brightens up the center i want it to be quite desaturated or if it's not desaturated more on the side of green so this just helps us to bring the subject further apart from the background and it allows us to add a little bit of brightening effect overall which i think looks pretty cool something like that let's take the opacity down and let's see our guy maybe we lift our guy also a few pixels up so we get that reflection of the feet better and then here we can also just blur the feet so it blends better into the water maybe we blur the whole guy just a tiny bit so it blends better and now the very last step here is to maybe add some highlights around this guy so it doesn't look so 2d we will come here and brush a little bit of outline here it doesn't have to be that big of an effect it's just more so an illusion I think that already helps us to make the character look a little bit less 2D. And I think now we will finally call it done and we achieved exactly what we wanted to achieve. We created an artwork using only custom brushes in Photoshop, which I think is pretty cool. If you want to start using my custom brushes in your edits, I've added a link down to the description where you can get over 195 brushes that I have created for Photoshop. And you will also get access to some of the ones that I used in this video here. But I guess that's it for this video. So I see you in the next one. Remember to leave a like and subscribe to the channel channel if you enjoy the content.